I came here to break Yoltik's heart, and instead, Yoltik is breaking Manuel's back. up everybody it is me solita sims welcome or welcome back to my channel today we are back here with my girl celeste and we are about to wrap up this mini series this love struck mini series i am so sad to have to kiss our girl goodbye but you know she's fed up with me she's tired of me and my bull but she is ready to just settle down and find the love of her life already and if you've watched our other three videos about her journeys here in ciudad namorada finding all these conquests then you know that she's had quite the time time but today we are looking on the brighter side of things because we have finally found the one for Celeste and we will be pursuing them today which would be Manuel Aguilar. I said in the last video that it was up to you guys to decide Celeste's fate who she was going to end up with this episode and we all decided that Manuel was probably going to be her best option. He's already proposed to her twice um we had rejected the both of them which I felt really bad about but we know that he is passionate about Celeste and is deeply in love with her and he's really been the only male sim to not give her a single issue. They have amazing in compatibility they're both feeling fine with their satisfaction celeste is very attracted to him and nothing triggers this man's jealousy though she does need a little bit of space after those two failed marriage proposals he made to her they also have a very steamy romantic dynamic things have just been looking really great with manuel and i think celeste is dying to become mrs manuel aguilar at this point today we are going to be trying to get yet another a third marriage proposal out of manuel which might be a little difficult considering we rejected the last two and to spice things up this episode Episode because I have to have my drama and I have to have my chaos. There are two other things in this episode that I want to do besides just ending up with Manuel, and that would be one, completing Celeste's romantic explorer aspiration. Now we just have these two left, which is expanding boundaries and a more connoisseur. And she already has one of them done for expanding boundaries. She's achieved level four of the romance skill. So all we really have to do is discuss romantic boundaries, have a romantic partner, and embrace three times. That sounds easy enough. And for a more connoisseur, there are also four things that she will have to do, which is get gold on a romantic date, achieve level seven of the romance skill, which she already has, perform 25 romantic gestures with a partner sim, and woohoo three times in different locations. We can most definitely get that done if we're with Manuel. The second thing I want to do, which is a little bit over the top, a little bit theatrical, is that I am going to go to every single one of Celeste's conquests. We're going to meet up with them, and I'm going to break off her romance with them. Yep, we are going to break some hearts today. I mean, hey, she does have the heartbreaker trait. They should have known better. So yes, we are going to complete her romantic explorer aspiration and we are going to be breaking some hearts this episode before we make our way back to Manuel Aguilar. So it is 2 25 in the afternoon which gives us plenty of time to go break some hearts. So let's get started. Our first stop is going to be Aziz Nadir. Yes because we still have a little bit of romance with him. Let's break off what we have I guess. Looks like these two are still going strong I guess. Girl why? Why are you still with him? We are going to ask to be just friends and we're honestly not even gonna be his friend. How's it feel to have a celebrity dump you, Aziz? Hmm, looks like he took the news pretty well. Celeste and Aziz have decided to cool off their romantic relationship. Whoa, but, but from talking to attractive Sim, it's a shame that society decided when you talk to someone, you should be facing each other. At least that's what Celeste thinks after she noticed the very attractive butt shape of her conversation partner. What? Don't walk away from me. Where are you going? Not him being sad. Girl, bye. Asked to just be friends. Why is Yoltik calling? I, <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> It's so crazy to me because in the beginning I was like, I hated Yoltik and then I loved Yoltik and now I hate Yoltik again. You see why I have to dump this man? You see why I couldn't pick this man? Time to break Valentina's heart as well. We're cutting it off, girl. Oh, oh, that was rude. Oh my God, everybody's trash. I hate everybody. First permanent separation from life event. This dramatic ass sitch, I swear. Well, you know how it is. You always believe that things can last forever. You make promises, you believe other Sims' promises, and then life happens. It draws distance between beings. What? It, draw it draws distance between beings that were close. It fosters conflict where there used to be only peace. It brings wariness into a love that seemed eternal. And one day, a couple breaks, like Celeste. Girl. 
This is so dramatic. One more permanent separation from a recurring event. And here's to one more failed relationship. Seems like nothing is forever and no love holds till death do us part. Valentina, big mad. She big mad. Oh my God. You better not say anything else mean to my girl because I swear to God, I will whip out that brawling mod. <gasps> Oh no. Mm -mm. Oh my god, she's hanging out the window. <laughs> that was unwarranted. That was rude. That was mean. My girl don't deserve that. If anybody deserves that, it's your man. Let's go and let's visit now. We don't need to visit Carlos because our romance with him is evaporated. Yoltek, it's time. It's time to kiss him and our relationship goodbye, as well as Carmen. Carmen's there as well. Okay, we're here. Time to ruin everybody's lives. <gasps> what am I seeing? Manuel Aguilar. And Yoltsik, oh, oh my God, oh my God. Um, I obviously cannot show what's going on, but if I were to paint a picture for you, I would say that Yoltik is nose deep in Manuel's peaches and cream. Not the man she wants to marry. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. Is this why Manuel doesn't get triggered by anything? Is it because he wants to be open? Stop. <laughs> Girl, what do we do? <laughs> what do we do? <laughs> I came here to break Yoltik's heart, and instead, Yoltik is breaking Manuel's back. I hadn't even realized Manuel's a fruit. Manuel is a fellow fruit. I did not know that. <laughs> See, I don't have a problem with Manuel being a fellow fruit. No, that is not my problem. My problem is, is that he wanted to marry this woman twice, and now he's over here playing Brokeback Mountain with Yoltik. Is everybody in this house just like woohooing each other? Have I not picked that up this entire time? Is that the whole point of this house, dynamic daters? Are they all dynamically dating each other this is disastrous um i guess we'll just let them handle their business <sighs> dear god okay maybe we'll just go hang out with luke whiting let's see if he wants to hang out so we can go and break his heart our next victim luke whiting oh my god valentina what are you doing here is celeste getting stalked by everybody she literally popped out of nowhere we're calling up luke to come meet her and there he is oh he looks so happy oh time to ruin it we're just gonna get straight to it it is time to just be friends i actually don't want to even be friends with you oh my god now valentina is gonna witness celeste breaking somebody else's heart at least you'll feel less alone yeah it's over we're done for not him trying to flirt with her immediately after that's right girl put him in his place Valentina's like, damn, this stitch was playing everybody, not just me. Do you feel stupid now? You should probably go back home to your husband. And while we're here, we should probably tell him that, we, yeah, we did delete us your fetus. Oh, he's out of here. <laughs> He's done with her. That actually went a lot easier than I thought. He He's done with her. He wasn't gonna keep trying. And she rejected his romantic advances. We are done with Luke Whiting. So maybe we should try to go back and see Yoltik and Manuel and hope that we see something a little less graphic going on. Go knock on the door. Please do not tell me I'm gonna see something going on in the living room. Okay, great. We didn't walk in on anything. Great. Oh my God, we have to break Carmen's heart too. I hope this doesn't kill her elderly ass. Yoltik, I am so sad to have to do this. I really wanted us to work out. I was rooting for you in the beginning, but you are just too much for me, man. I don't have the time nor the patience to deal with you. So we are going to have to say goodbye and part ways. Oh, this is painful. I'm so sorry, Yoltik. Actually, I'm not. This is your fault. Same with you, Carmen. Same with you. I'm so sorry to have to do this. You were a great time. There's no future for any of us. So she has officially ended her romance with with both Carmen and Yoltik now. I will make my way back to you, baby. I promise. What is Luke doing here? Okay, so maybe the breakup didn't go as easy as I thought. Everybody is obsessed with you, girl. I have to give it to you. Whatever you got going on, going on there, it is entrancing every single person you cross paths with. First her son, now her. Your son should have warned you about the type of girl that Celeste is, honey. Not to mention the fact that you won't woohoo with her. It's just not a relationship that is bound to be successful. Stop. Stop checking her out. Stop. Stop. Stop it. 
Stop it. They have romance again. We're just going all over the city today, <laughs> aren't we? We have Dolores, the Magdalena, and Sammy who don't have any house. They are all homeless Sims. So we would have to meet up with them and it's a little late for that. So I'm thinking we go and see Jeffrey. <laughs> in Oasis Springs. We are going to be leaving the city for the first time ever. Celeste has not left her home town at all. And Jeffrey's out of the house, probably stalking her. That's fine. We can always threaten his son if anything happens. Oh yeah, I forget that Celeste is a celebrity now. Public spotlight from being spotted at a restaurant. Ooh, here we are at the mysterious Affluista Mansion, where Nancy Landgrab had once lived a really nice, affluent life. And we took that from her. Yes, we did. So I see Malcolm here. Where is Jeffrey? I've thought about it, Jeffrey. I've thought about it. You know, you're not too bad of a guy. You're pretty decent. You're pretty, um... You have a very unique looking face. Maybe I was thinking about it all wrong. You know, maybe you aren't a stalker. Maybe you're just very passionate. And if you're willing, maybe we should take it to the next step. Yeah, don't you miss all this? Yeah, I bet your wife wasn't fun like this. Yeah, I bet she couldn't move around like this. Don't you want some fun in your life? Don't you want some passion? Don't you want some spontaneity? Oh, I think he does. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I bet Nancy wasn't willing to do any of that with him. I think you need a little bit of excitement in your life, Jeffrey. And I think that she's willing to give it to you. Look at that body sway. Look at those hips move. New quirk. No touching. Girl, you know damn well you love to be touched all over. If she can be this freaky in the streets, now imagine in the sheets. Oh my. Oh my. This is disgusting, but you know, keeping our eye on the prize. Keeping our eye on the prize. <laughs> she's sick of him already. Oh, hey, Greg. Didn't expect to see you in this save file. New trait evil. <gasps> She does not feel too good about what she's doing. <laughs> Girl, no, no, that does not suit you. Okay, that does not suit you. It is not wrong for using terrible men for the only thing they're good for, which is money, okay? Come on, it was so, where are you going? It was so easy to get the other guys to propose. Come on, man. He would rather play video games. Oh my God, finally, finally buttered up this man so much. Was so friendly with him. We're basically maxed out on our friendship and our romance now. <laughs> yes, yes, I do, Jeffrey. I will definitely marry you and this gigantic house and all your simoleons yes i do i do take you to be my lawfully wedded husband <laughs> oh my god okay let's just get this wedding out of the way let's elope immediately let's go get that money honey yes i cannot believe i'm doing this <laughs> Do you, Celeste Singh, take Jeffrey Landgrab to be your lawfully wedded husband? Yes, yes, I do. Do you, Jeffrey Landgrab, take Celeste Singh to be your lawfully wedded gold digger? Yes, yes, I do. I know Nancy is looking up from hell right now and is just fuming. Oh yeah, she thinking about that money, honey. Oh girl, we'll get you to pee in a minute, okay? Just get through the ceremony, get through the ceremony. Oh, the rings. Oh, the beautiful rings. Oh my god. She is now Miss Celeste Landgrab. <laughs> ew, ew, ew. A <gasps> hundred thousand four hundred thirty-one simoleons. What? What? We have a hundred and twenty-one thousand simoleons now. Okay. Great. <laughs> Look at her. She's already getting comfortable, firing stuff up on the grill, becoming the perfect housewife. Ew, she's a stepmom. Ew. Okay, great. Well, since that's out of the way, where is Jeffrey? Oh, there he is. Okay. This was really fun, Jeffrey, you know. I really had a good time with you and everything, but you know, I was just trying to get my coins, not to mention get revenge for you literally stalking and harassing my girl. No hard feelings, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god why are all of my sims the same <laughs> she's officially made it to the same realm as deandra alexis and gwyneth now but oh my god did that feel good that felt so good he can never hurt you again girl he could never stalk you again oh god where's malcolm oh he didn't see anything he he's chilling you, you should oh you probably shouldn't walk over there you seriously I wouldn't recommend. Oh, oh, Malcolm, Malcolm, Mal Malcolm. Oh, oh, I forget. Malcolm's evil, huh? He, I don't think he really minds necessarily. I think he's, I think he's chilling with it. 
Au revoir. Engaged. Married. Widow. <laughs> All in like 20 minutes. You've had quite the day, girl. Okay, let's get you back home to see your dad in Amarada. Oh, wait, that's right. She literally doesn't have a home anymore. Well, this is her home for now. That was eventful. That was fun. But we still have other hearts to break. <laughs> so we need to find a computer that Malcolm isn't using. There they are. And we are going to move out once again. I think we've had enough time here in Oasis Springs. I think we had a very productive day here. <laughs> it's only $15,000 without all the furniture. Great. We are going to sell the furniture. Holy. She has 300,000 simoleons in the bank now. Oh my God. It was such a good move. Killing Jeffrey. Let's go back home. Oh, that's right. You're still here. Yeah. Yeah, no. Bye. You have had quite the day, girl haven't you? Yeah, let's get you cleaned up. So we have Sammy, Magdalena, and Dolores. And like I said, these Sims are homeless. They do not have houses. So we have to meet up with them somewhere. I think the first one we're going to meet up with is Sammy, which again, just like Yoltik breaks my heart, but it has to be done and end things with him once and for all. This is rough. This is rough. Oh, uh, Sammy. I had such high hopes for us, Sammy. I dreamt of a future, a bright, beautiful future, where the two of you would be happily married as Mr. and Mrs. Garcia. But things took a very big turn last episode when you decided out of nowhere that you wanted to be an asshole and ruin all of the progress you had made since breaking up with your ex and getting with Celeste. This is extremely depressing, and I'm so sad to have to do this to Sammy because I really did want him, I think, the most out of everybody. But just like Yoltik, he's too difficult, and I don't know what the man wants. I I think I want to make this one a little bit more dramatic though because I feel like they had a real connection out of everybody else and we're gonna use the drama mod by Mizuru Yuki to argue about their relationship. What are you mad about this time? Well, what a way to address her. We never woohoo anymore. I have needs. We turn into a boring couple. You've been spending way too much simoleons. I want to break up. Oh my god. Yes, let him have it. Not him giving her a suggestive look halfway through the argument. Sammy! This man is so unserious. I can't. They're letting it all out. They're letting it all out. Tell him. He has issues. He needs therapy. We could have put that free therapy to use that we got from winning the competition. Of course not. Maybe he's still hung up on his ex. What do you mean he won? Oh, not the knife. <laughs> Girl, I'll put that away. <laughs> I get it. I get it. If I was having this conversation with Sammy too, I'd probably be feeling the same way. Single soon from arguing there. I finally got that off my chest. I haven't been happy for a while now. It might be time to move on. Yes, girl, it is time to move on. So we are going to ask him if we could be just friends. I wish they would change the reactions for this question because every Sim seems to be taking it really well. And I don't like that. I don't think that's realistic. I want some of them to argue, fight back, maybe even get physical. I think that'd be so interesting. But yes, now Celeste and Sammy are done for. They have decided to cool off their romantic relationship. Oh, the pain. Oh, the pain. Him and Yoltik definitely hit the hardest in the pain department. So now we have Magdalena and Dolores left, which should be easy enough. So we're just gonna go and call them up somewhere and say goodbye to Sammy. Do not be coming to my house in the middle of the night wanting something. Nope. We're done. Goodbye. Okay, Celeste is sitting down at a bench nearby and we're gonna call Dolores over so we can dump her as well. And I'm hoping that she is actually dressed up in the outfit I gave her and she's not gonna come over here with her Samusi hanging out. Aw, she's so cute. I am kind of sad about having to dump her, honestly. She is really cute. Intimately with Dolores. Oh my God. For the love of God, you have to stay focused. You were the one that said you were done dating, you wanna settle down. And now you're over here messing with everybody. I'm starting to think you're a woohoo addict at this point. We're gonna keep it short and sweet with Dolores. We didn't get to know her that well. You know, maybe we actually can be friends and hang out once in a while, but yeah, there wasn't really much going on between the two of them. She seemed to handle it well, and she wants to flirt with her again. Stop it. Aw, it seems like Dolores actually was upset about that. She's so sweet. That is what the dating world is like, honey. I'm sorry to inform you, but it is over, and now we have one last person to break up with, and that would be Magdalena. So we're 
we're gonna invite her over to the lot and now we end things with magdalena and it is officially over with everybody everybody romantically except for well jeffrey <laughs> and all that's left is manuel so it's time to finally visit manuel once again see him and hopefully this will all work out in celeste's favor and she didn't just dump every single person on her roster for no reason hopefully 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 manuel turns out to be exactly the man she wants oh and if you're enjoying this video so far maybe think about leaving a like comment and subscribe for me it really helps me out thank you so much we are back at manuel's house do y'all see the fit again from this pack not the shoes but this is from this pack let's see it from the back let's see it from the back oh god damn girl you know what maybe i am starting to understand these terrible men i mean look at her oh no why is carmen coming to talk to me um no no good to know we're still on good terms i guess after breaking up we are here for manuel not for carmen carmen is over and done with just like her life is going to be soon let's watch the sky with manuel for a bit just to get those romantic vibes going oh my god he's calling me from the afterlife now i'm gonna have to call this man in order to get him to stop leaving her alone huh why are you looking at art galleries when you're dead enjoy death oh hey what's up oh we're kind of matching with our tops you want to watch the clouds together Ooh. all right they're gonna finish cloud gazing and then i have some interactions from celeste to manuel which are asking him what are we talk about life together for them to make out and for her to tease him flirtatiously so let's Let's see how he reacts to these. I also think I want to ask him, maybe when our friendship is a little bit higher, if he will reconsider his romantic boundaries. And I'm sure Celeste doesn't want to be in an open relationship. I mean, maybe, maybe I could work with it, but preferably no. Preferably I'd like them to be a monogamous couple. So we'll have to see what he says. Seeking clarity from talking about what the relationship is. The Sim is seeking clarity about the nature of the relationship with their partner. That doesn't really describe what they are, does it? He didn't answer and she doesn't know what his answer is. Oh no, that's concerning. Please don't do this to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're really enjoying themselves. Why am I jealous? <laughs> okay, the romance bar is full. So now we just have to work on their friendship a little bit more. So I have some friendly interactions for Celeste, complimenting his outfit, educate on positive romance dynamics, teach about romantic satisfaction. These two come from this pack and I haven't explored them. So I wanted to see what the responses are and just to get to know him better, ask about his favorite color and his hobbies and skills. So what we learned about Manuel is that he likes the color pink. Okay. And he dislikes the color blue. Didn't really learn that much much else about him he likes romance music and s pop music can you please just ask this woman out on a date please i'm begging you she's freezing over here he was so adamant about wanting to go on a date beforehand and even marrying her and now crickets maybe we need to incentivize him more get the vibe going you know what i mean get the flirty vibe going please ask my girl out on a date she is so desperate i am so desperate we need this to end we need her to find the one and you are the one i'm convinced oh you know what maybe one thing we need to do is her and Sammy are soulmates. We need her to drink the soulmate be gone potion so then she can fully get over Sammy. Okay, that's in the reward store. How much does that cost? 250 points. Okay, we can easily redeem that one. Oh my god, you're kissing her so passionately. You want to passionately ask her on a date next? Oh no, you want to walk away from me. Is he going to work? Dude. Oh <gasps> I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> What is he doing here? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What on earth? <laughs> what the fuck? You're kidding me, right? Celeste murdered him. He's literally <laughs> he's literally dripping out blood as he floated his way over here and he still wants her. Wow, Celeste, your power is unmatched. I have to give it to her. He's literally bleeding out. Get lost. Please never ever bother my girl again. Oh my God. Okay, you know what? Screw this. I'm tired of waiting for Manuel to propose to her or to do anything like a date. So I'm just gonna end up asking him out on a date. He is at work right now and it is early in the day and I think it'd be cool if they could go to like a restaurant maybe. So I'm gonna wait until nightfall and then I'm going to ask Manuel to leave work early to come go on a date with her and i know the perfect place to go we're finally here ready for our date she is looking so cute in this little outfit i picked out for her you on the other hand is this your date outfit no no way that's the formal outfit i gave him okay this is way better in my opinion and i'm gonna try to pick a good table before everybody else gets them she's a celebrity so she should be able to get that table immediately okay do you not know who she is oh he changed again is this his formal outfit okay it's a choice 
This was not the table I requested. Good God. Okay, I guess. I guess we're just gonna sit here then. <laughs> okay, this is better. This is better. I got them. <laughs> new table it's hidden away it's very private it's very romantic it is for six people but it's fine okay so we have a lot to ask manuel on the state we need to know every single last detail about this man that we can get out of him before you know things become official if he you know decides to ask her to become official so we have ask about chemistry together ask about personality turn-ons ask for attraction level because i actually don't know how attracted manuel is to celeste i'm hoping he's very attracted to her because she is extremely extremely attracted to him. We're gonna tell him that. Ask about his woohoo styles and preferences. Ask if he wants children. And then we're gonna flirt with him a little bit to satisfy the requirements for our romantic date. I'm hoping for some good responses. I'm scared. What is she asking him? His opinion on exclusivity. Ooh. Ooh. I tend to prefer non-exclusive relationships. <laughs> I already knew that. I already figured that. But we might be able to change his mind. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna chill. But I, I don't think we're gonna ask him that to change his boundaries until we're actually together. So I'm just gonna relax on that. He says he doesn't think he wants kids at the moment. So that means that he's probably open to the idea about having kids. He doesn't know anything about his woohoo styles, which I find hard to believe because he's probably the biggest male slut that she's encountered so far. So, and he is very attracted to her, which is so great. He's in a very flirty mood right now. So I'm hoping he says something at some point. We're just going to go ahead and order for the table right now. I really want to get this man in a flirty mood. So I'm going to order him a gentle romance. And for her, maybe the gentle Lily. I'm going to skip appetizers because it takes so long to go through a meal in The Sims 4. So I'm just going to get straight to the entrees. I think I'm going to give her... I was thinking ratatouille or asparagus penne pasta. I think I'm going to go with the penne pasta and then for him since he's like this big burly man. I think I'm gonna get him the filet mignon. He's ordering for her. Oh, I love when men order for the woman. Okay, they're flirting autonomously at this point. Come on, come on. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> this man <laughs> is testing my every last nerve, my every inkling of sanity that I have left in my body. Stop. Leave me alone. Do not tell me he's here. Oh my God. What will happen when the new pack comes out? The life and death pack. Is he going to haunt her when she is happily married to this man? I'm scared. I'm so scared. Celeste may need to pay attention a bit more. Be sure to complete some date goals. There's still a chance of having an okay date. We don't like how the date it's going? What do you mean? What do you want her to do? Bang you on the table right here? He's probably feeling super rejected right now and I don't blame him but at the same time, get over it. Move on. Stop being a baby. Oh my god. And they're so cute and Manuel is so good to her and he's so nice and he's so loving. I just want them to be together already. But no way in hell am I gonna make this woman propose or ask out this man because she's better than that. She's even hinting to him. I'm ready. Take me. Take me as I am into your arms. Where are you two going? Hello? Just cancel every interaction. <gasps> oh my god, finally. <laughs> It's not a proposal. It's not a proposal. But he still asked her to be his girlfriend. Yes. Yes. Finally. Oh, they're boyfriend and girlfriend now. We're getting there. Finally. Finally, finally, finally. It took him long enough. And she reached level seven of the romance skill. Okay. Though we do have some time left. So maybe if Manuel wants, we can maybe head back to Celeste's place. Why are you on the floor? Ew. I got the ick from that. Stop. Get off the floor. Grown man sitting on the floor like that? What's wrong with you? Who are you? And what are you doing at my house? And what are you wearing, girl? That is an atrocity. Oh my god, it's the paparazzi. She has paparazzi now? Okay, well, we're back at Celeste's place and the date is pretty much over. So I think I'm gonna let these two finally let go of all that tension and let them have a little bit of fun in Celeste's bedroom. And once they're done, maybe I'll let Manuel stay the night. Maybe I'll let him go home. And then tomorrow we can try our very best to see if this man will finally pop the question once again and seal his and Celeste's fate. So fingers crossed that tomorrow is the day I put Celeste out of her misery and she finally becomes wifey material.
Y'all, the second she took that soulmate be gone potion to get rid of the soulmate buff between her and Sammy Garcia, she becomes soulmates with Manuel. <laughs> she is in a very flirty mood because she has found the one from finding soulmate yet again. Oh my god, this could not be working out any more perfectly. And I'm thinking they just do something nearby, maybe go to the lounge right over here. It's time for our girl to get her fairy tale ending. So let's go ahead and meet up with Manuel. Tell me why I take this girl to the lounge and Manuel meets up with her. They go into the bathroom and the paparazzi follows her into the bathroom. Oh my God. That is so inappropriate and disgusting. That's right. Let him have it. That's disgusting. Oh my God. Okay. I think what we need to do with Manuel right here is we need to ask him if he is willing to reconsider his romantic boundaries. My girl deserves monogamy after everything she has been through. We're going to ask him to reconsider all of them going in with the biggest one woohoo <gasps> He said yes. Oh my God. That was actually so easy. He decided that woohoo will trigger his jealousy. Okay. Am I having faith in a man? Am I having actual hope and faith in a man for once? I knew from the moment I saw the trailer that Manuel was just, there's just something about him. Oh, we can't ask if he can change his other ones. Okay. Well, we, we started off with the highest one in my opinion, which is woohoo. And he said he would change it. Now, can you just like propose to my girl? <laughs> Come on. You guys are working out so well. All we need is a proposal. They are so cute. I actually think they are so adorable. Oh my God, I didn't even notice the paparazzi were here. Good God. Ooh. Now everybody gotta know, oh my God, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? Oh God, I just got flashbacks. This just unleashed trauma within me. You guys know how much I hate this man. Ugh, I forget he's a townie. He comes in every save file. Do not come near my girl. She is taken. She is very happy. Looks like Manuel is about to get some press. <laughs> no, no, no. <gasps> Yes! 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 I do, Manuel. I do. He finally did it. Celeste has finally sealed her fate. Manuel has finally popped the question for a third time. It took a lot of effort. Oh, Celeste, I'm so happy for her. Let's witness this proposal, y'all. Was that it? Oh. That was kind of lackluster, but that's fine because they're engaged now. My girl has come a long way from being for the streets to now exclusively being in hers and Manuel's sheets. I could not have asked for a better arrangement. I really do. I really think all the other guys had too many problems and were just fucking princesses. Too inconsistent with her. Really did not love her like that. Manuel, from the start, he has been very passionate about Celeste. So I think these two are a perfect match for each other and I'm so excited to see them finally get married. So let's finish up with the last of Celeste's romantic explorer aspiration and join these two lovebirds in holy matrimony. <laughs> Oh, no 
Toby? <laughs> Fumu, the North. <laughs> Saquinario. this mini series our love struck series starring celeste singh now celeste aguilar and her husband manuel thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed i know the series took a little bit longer to complete thank you to my macbook air for deciding to break and stall me from three weeks worth of editing um i wish this episode could have been out sooner than it was but i'm very happy with how everything went in celeste's story i really didn't plan for this to become a little mini series but i was having so much fun with it and I thought Celeste was so fun to hang out with. I just had to make her story a little bit longer on this channel before we wrap things up. And their future looks very bright. They are happily married, have a beautiful home, and are raising their first child together. And Celeste has gotten everything she's ever wanted and more. I wish the both of them the best. And even though this Love Struck series is over, I do not plan on just throwing away Celeste forever. I do plan on bringing her back for the channel for my upcoming life and death expansion pack content. I have a story in mind for that and Celeste will be the star once again. Don't worry, I'm not gonna kill her. I'm not gonna kill Manuel, okay? They're safe. But yes, I had a lot of fun with this and I hope you guys enjoyed all of the chaos and the messiness that brought us to this point. So thank you once again for watching this video. Leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe if you did enjoy and to help support the channel. And that concludes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time and we'll see Celeste a little bit in the future. Bye!